What's up guys? Good morning. I just finished cardio. As you can probably tell, I look like I just did cardio. I am officially eight and a half weeks out. Eight weeks from today, I will be in peak week and I will be competing that Saturday. So things are getting a little more intense. Like you guys saw in the last video, she upped my cardio a little bit and decreased some carbs. It wasn't a drastic change, but my body is feeling it a lot this week. Just very fatigued and I don't really have the energy to do anything else except what I absolutely have to do. And normally, Sunday is usually my meal prep day. I think he locked himself somewhere and he's meowing. I think I know where he is. <laughs> Sir, what are you doing? Hmm? Was it dark and scary in there? You're so funny. Anytime I open a cupboard or a door, he jumps in and then I don't know that he's there. Whoa. And then I don't realize that he's there and he gets locked in there for who knows how long. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling it more and I am way more tired on the weekends. Um, Sunday is normally my rest day and I don't really want to do anything on my rest day. And so this past weekend, I just kind of laid out at the pool all day and didn't meal prep because I was too tired. So now it is Tuesday and I'm still haven't meal prepped. So I'm gonna do that kind of as I eat my breakfast this morning. And I'll show you guys what I eat. Literally it's been the same thing, but. So normally I have strawberries with my toast in the morning, but I actually realized if I omit the strawberries, it adds like three more carbs. And so I can swap my toast for English muffins. And I haven't had these in so long. I used to have English muffins every day when I was bulking and before I got further into my cut. But now, I don't know how I didn't realize this but I can have this if I don't have strawberries and I didn't end up getting berries this week anyway so that kind of works out perfectly um, but I have coconut oil on this and some salt I'm gonna put cinnamon and stevia on one side been loving this on my eggs too are we surprised not really this is the current state of my kitchen um, trying to meal prep while cooking my breakfast I'm going to probably just meal prep for the next hour or so. It's currently 8.30. My goal is to be ready and working by 10. So meal prep for the next hour and then get ready and then we will see what else I do today. Okay, an hour and a half later, it is 10 o'clock and I haven't finished the meal prep part, but I cooked all the food and it looks really good. Most of it, except for the zucchini and cabbage, I have recipes for in my meal prep video, which I will link below. There's a meal prep, how I actually put the food together video, and then also a recipe video on how I make the food. So both of those will be down below if you guys wanna check those out. But I'm gonna put these together, hopefully in the next 10 minutes, and then get on with my day. I just got out of the bath. I normally take baths at night after the gym, but my legs have been so tired. Like you guys saw like a couple of vlogs ago, I do hit interval sprints in the morning and I've been switching it up instead of doing running I'm doing elliptical intervals it's less impact on my joints but it's a lot more quad work for me because I put the resistance all the way up I think it goes to like 25 on the elliptical in my apartment so it's pretty rough <laughs> and I go all out for 30 seconds on 25 resistance. And on top of that, I did legs last night at the gym. So Epsom salt is great for your joints and your muscles and helping recover in general if you work out a lot or you're really active. I was going to try to go earlier to the gym because it's crazy busy and all the machines are taken when I usually go at like six, but also my workouts are getting longer and I just try to conserve energy where I can and not stay up super late and I want to try to be in bed by nine. That's the goal this week. <laughs> I'm going to try to fill my workout if I go earlier to the gym. Um, and if not, I'll try to get that in tomorrow because I'll probably do today and tomorrow in this vlog. But I just wanted to show you guys what it actually feels like sometimes for me. Um, I'm not always like, what's up guys? I'm in such a great mood. I have so much energy. I would love if that was me all the time, but that's just not gonna be the case, especially on prep, so. Okay, so I'm eating my lunch. It's literally the same thing that I've been eating the last several vlogs, but I wanted to make another coffee as well because I desperately need it today. I don't like a ton of ice, so I just put a tiny bit in there to make it cold. Fill half of this up with water and then add like a splash of almond milk and then this Starbucks cold brew. It's a 
cold brew concentrate and it's the signature black one. Normally I don't like Starbucks coffee that much, but it doesn't taste. These actually are so good. I haven't had cold brew coffee from Starbucks before, but these are like so smooth and they don't taste burnt. Like I literally could just drink this black and I hate black coffee. Also, the lighting's a little off, so the color doesn't look like as pink as normal, but this is my new hydro jug that they sent me. It has the cutest little like black leopard print sleeve to keep it cold. And then it also has this strap, which is literally genius because I'm always carrying my water with me and it's such a chore to just carry a massive thing with all my other bags. So I just slip this over my shoulder and it's so easy to carry everywhere. This is a half gallon. Um, if you guys want to try one of these out, they have a ton of different colors to choose from and they're really cute. You can mix and match them, um, but you can use my code code LEM10, I believe, or LEM, I forget which one it is, but I'll put it like somewhere on the screen. I'll also put a link below. You guys can go check out the different styles that they have, but you could save 10% on your entire set, the bottle, sleeve, and straw as well. Okay, I'm not sure if it's the lighting, but I just wanted to document this because it's a prep vlog. Dude, do you see that definition right now? I mean, I'm very quad dominant, so I've always kind of seen definition when I flex, but like these separations right here, like all three of them. Oh, dude, I have to get a photo. <laughs> I just wanted to get that on camera too to see if it actually caught on camera. I feel like my legs are gonna be insane when I'm super lean. Dude, look at that. One day I try to go early to avoid the rush hour traffic. It's literally worse than every other day at six o'clock. So that was a fail, but I managed to get like four different exercises, I think. I did a couple tricep exercises at the end as well, but I didn't film those because people were everywhere. But I did want to show you guys a few um, things that I got from Amazon. And Milo wants to be in the shot too, huh? The first thing I got is just a refill of my glutamine that I'm taking. I take it before and after my workout. And then the other thing I got are these 
sweet drops. They're stevia drops. Um, and I've showed a few that I got in the past, like the caramel and coconut ones, I think. But this is the liquid dropper form and it's English toffee flavored. So I am very stoked to try that. Some jewelry company and I didn't order jewelry, I don't think. You guys ever like get packages and forget what you ordered from Amazon? Ah hair ties. These are like my favorite hair ties ever. Kind of silky smooth and they don't cause creases. So I could have my hair up like this all day, take it out and in like two minutes, it's already like down and straight and back to normal. My battery's gonna die, but I will probably talk to you guys either a little later or tomorrow morning. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> okay, good morning. It is 5.49. I just woke up, had my greens, and I'm drinking my coffee right now. Today is check-in day, so I'm sending my weight and pictures to my coach. And I didn't really want to film this because it's not like a very positive thing. I just wanna like be real and document the whole thing. I know that weight is gonna fluctuate, so I'm not concerned that it's like body fat per se, but it's just frustrating when I work so hard and I feel like my body feels like it's in a deficit um, and then I weigh myself and I'm like over a pound heavier than I was last check-in and literally the day after I think it was on Sunday I weighed myself the day after she had given me this cut from calories and carbs and stuff and I guess it, it would be easier to just say numbers wouldn't it <laughs> so I I hit a new low which was 122.8 I want to say 0.6 but still being 122 was huge and I was like wow look this is like crazy so I actually texted her the day that I dropped like a whole pound in a day not saying it was fat like entirely fat but so that was really encouraging and then to wake up today and I'm literally 124.2 is testing me let's just say that so i am going to go drink my coffee do my cardio not really let it get to me and then i will send my check-in pictures once i'm done with cardio and see what my coach says i was really hoping for a refeed today because she cut a lot of carbs out last week and says she wants to start doing refeeds with me so i was really hoping i was like going to show up a little lighter today because i want that refeed so bad <laughs> but we'll see what she says. I know this is probably TMI, but I'm gonna be TMI on this YouTube channel because that's just what life is, especially on this prep. So I've been a little constipated the last few days and I think it could be just a lack of volume that I'm eating, maybe a lack of food because we're decreasing, but I've also been so inflamed. Like my body just feels, I took an Epsom salt bath yesterday and I still feel like tired and sore. My muscles just feel really fatigued. So I'm sure it's just inflammation and poop <laughs> causing me to be like almost two pounds heavier. And I haven't started my period yet. It's been like a week or so, but my hormones are very sensitive. And I think she said that I could lose my period at any point from now until show day, because a lot of girls do when they get really lean. It comes back obviously, but it's just like something that happens. So I'm not sure if that's the case or if I'm just like about to start it and I'm just gonna be really late and that's partially why I'm holding on to water weight as well. Okay, it is several hours later. Um, I had to go help my boyfriend's family move. They're moving to Florida today, I'm so sad. Um, but I got a whole bunch of stuff from them, which is cool, that they were just gonna give away. When I was last talking to you guys, I was feeling a little rough and um, honestly like discouraged because I was working so hard. I have been working so hard and just to see like the scale number go up was discouraging. Even though I know it's not fat, it's just discouraging because I want to see like an accurate number to keep track of progress. And so to have these things like getting in the way is really annoying. I know I said I was going to do cardio, but I for some reason felt like God was just like, don't do cardio yet. Just do your check-in pictures, send them in and see what happens. And so I took them, sent them over and honestly just like sat around around waiting because she usually gets back to me pretty quickly if I send check-in pictures in the morning. So I waited like 20 minutes for her and she got back to me and said, 
she could tell that I looked like I was in need of a break. So she said to take a full rest day today. And I don't think I realized until she told me to take the whole day off how bad I actually need it. <laughs> More so than food, honestly. I was expecting, like, I was really hoping she would give me a refeed day, but honestly, I prefer a, just a day of not having to do cardio or weights at all, just because my body feels so tired. And I feel like I'm not sleeping as well because I'm so exhausted, which doesn't make sense, but if you know, you know. But yeah, so I'm taking this whole day off, which is so nice. I'm glad I didn't do cardio then because I would have been annoyed that I just did that for no reason but I really think it's just like inflammation and my body's just stressed and tired so hopefully this rest day will help me not be so inflamed and help me to drop more weight starting tomorrow and just like get rid of all this water weight I took a bath yesterday but I might take another one today and just like relax there's a lot of things I've needed to catch up on with just work and life like clean and things I've kind of put on the side burner because I was prioritizing getting my workouts in and then aside from that I was too tired to do anything else so today will be good so yeah I'm gonna go get breakfast I might go like treat myself to a sugar-free latte at Starbucks or something <sighs> yeah I'll talk to you guys in a bit okay if you hear the rain it's been pouring for the last hour and a half, two hours. And so I just really wanna be comfy and cozy today, but but I wanted to show you now that I have self-tanner on, why I like always being tan. Are you freaking serious? Look at that. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my word. I didn't even know that you could do that with your legs. It's a little bright, but like, let's go. Obviously I don't look like that real in real life. That's why you can never like judge someone's strength or fitness journey just by like, how they look because you never know what kind of muscle is hiding underneath when they flex. I never do this, but I'm starting to see my abs are starting to pop too. What the heck? Dude. Okay, not saying like abs are the epitome of fitness by any means, but I have never seen my abs this lean before. And it's hard to tell. Like I know I'm pulling my skin up, but I'm just like trying to see what kind of muscle I have under there. But dude, seriously. Yeah, just wanted to show you guys I'm feeling a lot better, less inflamed already. It's like 2.30 right now, and I just went to the bathroom, praise the Lord. So I'm definitely feeling the effects of this rest day already. The day's like half over. It's weird that I'm not going to be getting ready to go to the gym in like two hours. <laughs> like I almost feel guilty for resting, but I'm just listening to my coach. Very excited. <laughs> I used to be self-conscious of my legs. Like I actually stopped working out lower body for like two years straight because I was, I thought that girls shouldn't look muscular and people are like, oh, girls with too much, too much muscle are gross. But now I literally just don't care. If I wanna work out and look muscular, I will and I love it. I'm probably just gonna hang out, not really do a whole lot. I have a few chores and things I need to catch up on and I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow morning when I check in with my coach again. She wants me to do another check-in tomorrow to see how the rest day goes. So we'll see what she says. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. <sighs> Rest day yesterday was so needed. I don't think I realized how bad I actually needed to just not do anything. Like a complete rest day, not a rest day spent doing chores and errands. Um, I literally just sat at home, worked on some pictures and stuff, but I let myself nap, stretched a little bit and went to bed early and I feel great. Still was the same weight, like uh, I think I dropped a half a pound from yesterday. Um, but she said she's really not concerned about the weight, it's just like used as a tool. She mainly just looks at how my body looks physically and goes from there. She cut carbs down quite a bit from last week. She did that because she wants to incorporate more refeeds, so she will deplete me of carbs for however long and then include a refeed day where she adds more carbs for one day, keeps my body from plateauing. Good news is we get two rolls of sushi today. I'm sorry, I don't know how to fix this, okay? I'm honestly very upset. I literally had this on for 20 minutes and then washed it off. How are my hands darker than my legs? 
But yeah, we get two rolls of sushi today and I am stoked. So I'm getting a salmon avocado and a tuna avocado roll. And hopefully that gives me more energy and helps my body kind of like stop this plateau that it's at. She said my body is in need of a refeed and it's kind of stuck right now because it's not getting the carbs that it needs. So also very grateful that she gave this to me on my leg day because she's cut carbs pretty much everywhere else starting tomorrow. So today's a refeed and then we get back onto a more of a cut. She actually updated my diet and cardio and she said this next little bit is going to be very challenging. It'll be challenging, but it will be worth it. We're only two months away. One more thing before I go, I wanted to announce something very exciting. I got my very first NPC card so that I can actually register for the show. And I did that last night and I just now registered for the actual show. So it's official. Officially official. We're competing. I think I mentioned this in my Q&A too, but I'm doing both wellness and bikini. I wanted to share that with you guys too, because that is huge. There is literally no going back now. I don't get a refund, I can't cancel. So we're doing this thing, guys. This is, it's so weird. I've seen so many vlogs of people doing shows and like literally followed their bikini competition prep vlogs for years, but it's happening to me now. And I will also go into more detail about my diet and cardio update that I got from my coach today in the next vlog. So hopefully that will be up next week. Um, I'm gonna try and upload these weekly, probably see them like a week after. So you'll, you guys will be a week behind, like by the time you see week eight, it will be seven weeks out most likely. Comment below if you have any questions or video ideas. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it so I know that you guys want me to keep posting more bikini prep series like this. Thank you guys so much for your support and I will talk to you guys in the next vlog. See ya!